Transitional epithelium. These slides are made for Anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Quick review, we have four main tissue types in the body. We have epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissues. Anywhere in the body you can find uh, specimens of one of these four tissues. And that's it. And there aren't any five or six or ten tissues, just four main tissue types. Okay, let's review epithelia. This is plural for epithelium, okay, which is the same thing as epithelial tissue. By definition, it has to be on the surface and it's going to be lining something. The cells in this tissue will be very close together. There would not be any blood vessels. And we number uh, the layers so that we can name the epithelium. And we can also look at the shape of the cells to name the epithelium. So, if it's only one cell thick, then it's simple epithelium. And if it's many layers thick, then it's stratified epithelium. That's the general, but in this case, transitional is like a mixed bag. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Another way of looking at the epithelium is looking at the shape of the cell. If most of the cell is predominantly squished, then we call it squamous. If most of the cell is cuboidal, because it looks like squares, then we call it cuboidal. And if the cell is more rectangular, then we call that columnar. But once again, transitional epithelia is a mixed bag. And it's, uh, it doesn't really fit nicely into the, the scheme of naming things, simple, stratified, and then the name of the shape. Because by definition, the English word transition means to change. And indeed, these cells can change. And it's a mixed bag. Sometimes you see the cell as being more roundish. Possibly down here, it might be more oval. Maybe here it might be more columnar. So transitional to me is always changing. Sometimes it looks like one, sometimes it looks like something else. But there's really no one uniform shape to call this squamous, cuboidal, or columnar. So we call it transitional epithelia. Uh, where are we? We are in the ureters, okay, which is the tube coming down from the kidney. Also, it lines the urinary bladder, and it lines part of the urethra that empties the bladder. Here's another drawing of a transitional epithelium. Sometimes when the, the structure is relaxed, then it's a lot thicker, the epithelium is thicker, and it seems like there are many more layers of cell. Once again, keep in mind the shape of these individual cells can change. Sometimes it looks squamous, Sometimes it looks round, sometimes it looks cuboidal, sometimes it looks columnar. But remember, urinary bladder, when our bladder is full, the epithelium is stretched. It's stretched. And when it is stretched, then the epithelium is a lot thinner, and it looks more squamous than before. So this is another reason why we call it transitional. It changes, okay? Transitional epithelium, here we see this picture similar to what we saw before. The whole thing is transitional epithelium. And, uh, and keep in mind, the shape of these cells varies. Okay? It's never the same shape over and over again like the other tissue uh, epithelium we have seen. Here's a comparison between the collapse or the, the non-distended, you know, not stretched, relaxed state. So the epithelium is a lot thicker Whereas if it's distended or stretched out like a full bladder, the epithelium will be stretched out, it will be a lot thinner. Okay? But in either case, you should be able to see there are multiple layers. Most of the time when we look at transition epithelium, it tends to be in the relaxed state, okay? like an empty bladder state. So here you see pretty thick, definitely more than one layer of cell, and the varying in shape, you know, sometimes is more, uh, you know, the, the nuclei tend to be smaller, vertical, sometimes it's perfectly round, sometimes these cells look like it could be columnar. Okay, so keep in mind, transition, changing in shape. Okay. Here's another view of transitional epithelium. 
And of course, you recognize that this is the space here, so this is the epithelium we're interested in, in the light pink. Each of this round structure, that would be the nucleus, okay? So notice, the round nucleus pretty much distributed throughout the epithelium, okay? That's what gives it away that is transitional versus the next type of tissue on your list, which is stratified squamous. Let's take another look. High power view, transitional epithelium, nice round nuclei throughout the uh, epithelium. More than one layer for sure, but really no one single uniform shape. Another transitional epithelium, lots of cells, many layers, but no one uniform shape, transitional epithelium. Here we're looking at transitional epithelium, but this is stretched. Okay, so let's say this is a stretched bladder. As you can see, the thickness is not very thick like the last slide uh, because it got stretched out, it's distended. But you do see pretty, you know, pretty good looking nuclei throughout. Here's another view of transitional epithelium. Okay. Once again, notice the round, healthy nuclei throughout the tissue. Another look at transitional epithelium. Round, healthy nuclei throughout the tissue. Because there's no one uniform shape for this cell, I mean for this tissue, we will not ask you the cell type. Okay? We will not ask you the cell type. We're just going to ask you name this tissue, in which case you would say transitional epithelium. We might be able to say name this structure, that would be the cell nucleus, Name this stuff, that would be cytoplasm. And uh, of course, we might say plasma membrane. Okay, so if you see like a line here, we might be able to point that out and say name that line, and that would be the plasma membrane. We can ask you to give us a location, in which case you can say urinary bladder, but we will not ask you cell type because there's really no one general cell type. Here's another look at transitional epithelium. And of course, this is definitely not distended. This is just kind of piling on top of each other. So it's transitional epithelium in the relaxed state. And notice the round, healthy nuclei throughout. More transitional epithelium. That would be all of this. Okay. More transitional epithelium. Notice healthy round nuclei, okay, healthy round nuclei scattered throughout, okay. Even at the top, they're still nice and round, healthy nuclei. Another example of transitional epithelium. More transitional epithelium with healthy round nuclei even at the top. Another look at transitional epithelium. More transitional epithelium. Very healthy round nuclei. So these cells are definitely alive and well. Transitional epithelium. See how some of the cells are more roundish some of the cells tend to be more columnar, possibly cuboidal, okay, so varying in shapes. Transitional epithelium. Transitional epithelium. And that's it.